Let's have a look at another example. So here we have an oxidation reduction reaction occurring again at the same time. We've got zinc reacting with hydrogen ions to produce zinc ions and hydrogen gas. The solid zinc over here is being oxidized to zinc ions. So it is losing its two electrons from the outer shell and it's making the zinc ions. Okay. The hydrogen ions are gaining the electrons from the zinc and producing hydrogen gas. So the hydrogen, is being hydrogen ions are being reduced to hydrogen gas. So here are the questions. Which substance is losing electrons? Which substance is gaining electrons? Which substance is the reductant? Which substance is the oxidant? So let's have a look. The zinc is losing electrons to produce zinc ions. So it is being oxidized. Because it is being oxidized, it is causing the reduction of the hydrogen ions. So the zinc is the reductant here in this reaction. The hydrogen ions down here are gaining electrons to produce hydrogen gas. The hydrogen ions are gaining the electrons that are given off from zinc. So the hydrogen ions are being reduced to hydrogen gas. Because it's being reduced, it is causing the oxidation of the zinc. It is taking the electrons from the zinc to produce the zinc ions. And those electrons that are being taken from the zinc ions are going to the hydrogen ions to produce hydrogen gas. So the oxidant is the hydrogen ions. So today on Flipping Science, we looked at oxidation reduction, what they are, and some simple definitions. That's it for Flipping Science today. See ya.